Indian voters, this video is important for you. The world's biggest election is here and so many candidates are contesting. But do you know your candidate? Whether they have any criminal cases against them, their assets? I'm sure you are aware of the party that you will be voting for, but are you aware of the candidate who is representing the party? And that too in your area. What if I told you there's a simple application to give you all of this information? Hey guys, this is Cyrus aka Cyrus the Virus on Fiber by India today. And today I will tell you about KYC or Know Your Candidate, an application by the Election Commission of India that presents a detailed view of the candidate contesting from your constituency and all that you need to know about them. Now, first up, you'll need to download the application. So head to the Google Play Store or the App Store to download the app. Now, while there are other KYC apps there, be very careful about which one you are downloading. And this is what the official KYC app looks like. Now, after downloading the application, you don't need to register or anything. It's free for all users and has a very simple UI. It will not be difficult to navigate. Now, if you know the candidate's name, it's very simple. Just enter the name of the candidate, for example, Rahul Gandhi. Now, this will table all of the candidates with that name and the image. So all you need to do is select the right candidate here. Now their profile will open up and in their profile you will get details like their father's name, the constituency that they are contesting in and their age, some of the other details as you can clearly see. Now if you look below, there will be an option to download the affidavit that has been filed by the contestant. Now in the affidavit, you will get details about the candidate's constituency, some of the criminal cases against them and a detailed information about the income tax return that they have filed. It will also have information about the assets that they have declared to the government and also their net worth. There is also a section marked in the dark maroon, like you can see here, that reads you criminal antecedent details. Now, there will be a PDF file that will be downloaded if you click here. Now, this PDF is going to show you all the criminal cases that have been lodged against the candidate, the description of the offense and even the punishment that has been imposed upon them. Now, different candidates will have different information disclosed in these affidavit that you can download and have a look. What's important is that the transparency is here. So as citizens who are voting for them, you will get to have a look at the background of the candidate and have a fair understanding of who you actually are voting for. Now, if you come back to the main screen, there is a select criteria option, which further shows the options like parliament constituency, which air the election you want the data for, state selection and the constituency selection. Now in this section right here, this is for the people who want to know about the candidates who are contesting from their area. So let me just show you how this, this area, this section entirely works. After that, we'll select the general elections option. Now, there is also an option for you to have a look at the previous elections data. So if you want uh, a look at that, you can also have a look just by going back. Now, next up, we'll go ahead and select the state. Since I am residing in UP, I will select that. Now, my constituency as per my voter card is Ghaziabad. So I will go and select that here and that is all. After doing that, this will list all of the candidates who are contesting from your area. In this, you will see these colored squares up here. This is another way to filter the candidates as per options like who has a criminal record against them, who is contesting the accepted nominations, and there are some more options that you can have a look at. You just need to tap on that square. So this was a detailed look at the KYC app. I think it's a good idea to have a little information about the candidates who are contesting uh, in your constituency instead of just going there and pressing the button on a political party uh, that they are representing. It just gives you more information about the candidate and just helps you take a more informed decision, which is very important when you are considering the future of the country. That's it for this video. Hope it was informational. Please do share it with as many people as you can. Let's also give them an opportunity to be informed about the people who they are voting for because it's essential for the development of this country. If you have any other doubts about the app, you can write to us in the comment section and we'll try to answer 
the questions for you. This is Cyrus signing off and please do not forget to vote.